Hey guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and I've released a video not too long ago that showed you how to restore your device from the new 6.15.00 baseband, and a lot of you guys are still having trouble with the Air 1015. Now, this not only refers to the new baseband and trying to restore, this pretty much refers to all Air 1015s, no matter what, if you're restoring in iTunes. And what it basically is, is it means that iTunes has restored your device, but since your baseband has been updated or your you're trying to downgrade iTunes recognizes that and it won't let you all the way and what this program will do that I'm about to show you is it will take it out of recovery mode out of the error 1015 and you'll have a fully operational device now of course you'll get this error when trying to restore 1015 and if you're getting any other type of error including 3194 for the 3GS I will post a new video link right here when I release the video and that will take you to that error but for those of you that are having the 1015 error, uh, once you've restored, just click OK, and you can close your iTunes. And this works both on a Mac and Windows. So, huh, well, basically, what you will use is there's a couple things you can use. There's a lot of things actually. You can use iReb or you can use Tiny Umbrella. I myself prefer Tiny Umbrella, but it's all up to you. I prefer Tiny Umbrella, but iReb does work better. So I'm going to switch over to my Windows PC and I will show you iReb right now. Guys, just to clarify, again, this works on any device, any firmware. As long as you get Air 1015 in iTunes, this will fix it. So it doesn't matter what model of iPhone you have. And also to make it clear, iReb, Tiny Umbrella, there are many tools, they all do the same thing, but I found that iReb works the best. So make sure your device is plugged in via USB, and we are selecting, we're going to go over to recovery mode, slash, or loop fixer, slash SHSH blobs grabber, but all we're going to be doing is click set auto boot true fixes 1015 errors. You just click this right here, and on your iPhone, you will notice that eventually in a second it will be rebooting and if iRev doesn't recognize your device give it a minute it will eventually and before you know it your iPhone is back up and running guys so now you can go back to where you were and unlock or jailbreak it before this happened and it's as simple as that and to clear up any more confusion this only works for 1015 errors iRev will most likely give you an error if you try to do a different error so only 1015 errors and that's it guys, I have links for iRev in the description down below. Really hope you liked this video, really hope it helped. And don't forget to rate, comment, help someone out if you see someone asking a question. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Have fun.